Hey Bama Nation, Dixie Jean here again ready for Bad Beat 12. Last minute interviews are coming this way. Right now we're talking with Tommy Gavin who took a fight six days out for Bad Beat 12. How are you doing today, Tommy? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing very well. Now, you did take this with six days notice of the fight. Um, what was the big incentive to do that? Well, I was in contact with Brett, uh, you know, six or eight weeks about, ago about getting on this card and uh, my fight fell through for this card and I've been in contact the whole time telling him I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go and uh, if anyone falls out, you know, please contact me and sure enough, after uh, Jiu Jitsu Thursday, I looked on Facebook and saw he had a 170 fall out and I, I normally fight at 55 but um, I'm ready to step on step up on a week's notice and I'm glad I'm, I got put on a card. Now, you fought with us for Bad Beat 11, and you're victorious in that. Take us through that fight. Uh, that was with Joe Cisneros. Um, in the first round, I had him in the tie clinch, and I got a little overzealous with my knees and got you know picked up and thrown on the ground. But um, in, the, in the first round, I, uh, I was on my back most of the round, but I didn't take any damage. And in the second round, uh, he went for a takedown, and I pulled guard with a guillotine, and... Um, I saw an opening out the back door and, and jumped on his back and, and got the choke and, and held on to it long enough to, to get that tap out. Got it. And then going into this fight, you're taking on an opponent, Steve Cazola. What do you know about Steve? Um, I know as much as you can find from Google. Uh, he's got one pro victory by guillotine. Um, he's got another couple amateur victories by guillotine. So uh, obviously that's the first thing to watch out for. Uh, I know he's a jiu-jitsu purple belt and uh, got a black belt in taekwondo, so uh, stay away from those kicks. Now, we, we touched on the fact that you did take this with six days notice. You know, you don't have that time to get a little bit of history on the your opponent as much as you would have in a normal training session. A uh, normal camp would normally give you allow you to have that time. What do you think are the challenges taking on a fight with six weeks, with six days notice? Um, one, I mean, you can't study your opponent at, at length and train specifically for that person. But in saying that, I, I train hard every day. Uh, I, I'm at Black House three times a week, 10th uh, Planet a couple times. I do my Muay Thai over at Legends. Um, I'm training every day for a fight. So, and, and like I said, I've been in contact with Brett trying to jump back on this card, and I, I'm glad I got back on. So you're just preparing for anything pretty much. Yeah, I've been preparing real hard, especially after winning that. That was uh, a big uh, motivation. And then who are your training partners right now? Who's been helping you for this training session for you? Uh, I've been working a lot with Kenny Johnson at Black House, um, uh, Eddie Bravo, and with Chris Riley doing my stand-up. Going into this, you're going up against Steve Cazola. You know he's done the gay team with his pro and his amateur career. Uh, do you think you're going to keep it stand up? Do you want to take it to the ground? Or where are you going to go with this fight? Um, I'm not real sure yet. We'll see how the fight goes, but I'm comfortable everywhere. I'm comfortable on my feet, uh, you know, wrestling in for that takedown or on my back, you know, playing jujitsu. So, uh, I think I'm well versed everywhere. Okay. And since this is your first interview with me, I haven't had the opportunity to get to know you on a face-to-face -face basis. And granted, yes, this is through Skype. But something I like to know just out of my general curiosity, and especially for those who see that you've taken a, taken a fight after just six days notice, what got you started in MMA anyways? Like, what's your drive to maintain it? Uh, my brother got me started. Uh... My brother has actually had about six or seven pro fights, and he even fought a former UFC champion, Mark Kerr. Um, I, I trained with his team out in Minnesota, Team Bison, uh, way before I ever considered doing this as a career. Um, and I ended up in L.A. through law school. But uh, the in my first year of law school, I discovered I wanted to fight, and I used to think he was crazy for wanting to do it, and all of a sudden then I wanted to do it and I started at uh over at Legends with uh Chris Riley and Eddie Bravo and it's uh been on from there. So you you started training out in Minnesota but you're originally from Sydney, New York, correct? 
Yeah, I'm uh, I'm from upstate New York. I went to college in Buffalo, and like I said, uh, I was brought to LA originally for uh, law school, but obviously I'm not a lawyer, and I'm um, I'm fighting. And you so you have family that's all over the country, like New York. Mid- yeah, we're all my family's all spread out. I got uh, my brother is in Denver, and my sister's in Seattle, and my mom and dad are in uh, New York and Pennsylvania. So, especially since you took this fight such late notice, you know, it's probably hard for them to make plans to come see you fight. But this fight is actually going to be on pay-per-view. How does that make you feel knowing that even though it is late notice, they can still watch you fight? That's awesome. Uh, My dad's already excited. Um, He'll definitely be ordering the stream. I know a few people from my hometown are going to be ordering the stream. My brother will be. My mom can't watch me fight until it's over, so... She won't be getting that stream, but, uh, you know, she'll look at the video later. Well, do you know that also one of our sponsors, Be First Clothing, is actually promoting Fight of the Night with Best Submission and Best Knockout. How is that for a little bit more of an incentive for you? Oh, that's a huge incentive. Uh, unfortunately, I was on the end of a, a knockout of the night, my second pro fight. Uh, but, you know, this time looking to turn it around and be on the other end of that. Well, any shout outs you want to give to your friends, family, teammates? Uh, yeah, to all my coaches, teammates, uh, thank you for helping me prep for the fight. I'm engaged. My, my fiance, Carolina, she's been my rock through this whole thing. And um, I got two little stepdaughters, Haley and Melissa. And uh, it's funny, but they, they want to come to the event. But I'm not sure if I'm quite comfortable with them watching me for fight sure? yet. <laughs> yeah, they're only six and nine. Okay, not not just yet. Maybe a little bit later. Maybe. Okay. Well, going into this, um, Bad Beat 12, we have an amazing card. We're lucky to have you on this card. Going up against Steve Gonzalez seems like it's going to be a great fight to start out the night. And uh, honestly, the best thing I can tell you, stay healthy. I know we're a few days out. I know you just got called, but that's probably number one priority. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Tommy. We look forward to seeing you come weigh-ins, and best of success for your fight come March 28th at Commerce Casino. Thank you so much.